Hi, Claire here. And I'm going to show you how to use pinch clips to mount your handmade catches to hang a pendant. Here's one I've already completed with some spiral hook catches that fit together like so. And there's the pinch clips. So this time I'm going to use a toggle clip which is another handmade catch and I have some pinch clips to mount the cord and two small jump rings and here is the pendant I've made. Now because this pendant, the top loop is quite small, it's important to put the cord through or the chain through earlier because otherwise you will not be able to thread it over the catches, the handmade catches. Now I'm going to use super glue for some safety and I recommend that you use some pliers with a little bit of grip because otherwise the pinch clip can slip. Okay, so the first thing to do is open your, any super glue works, I just use quite cheap super glue and you pierce the seal with a bit of wire. Notice that I'm wearing rubber gloves, that's important because otherwise you can glue your fingers. Um, so opening up the super glue and I simply put a little dot in one of the pinch clips, just a small dot. Now this is just security, just gives it a little bit of, makes the leather cord a little bit more rigid and stops it from slipping out. So I'll just move that one away. Now they can jump around a bit. So the first thing I do is just put in the leather cord and just hold it in there for a little bit, just to let it set. Be careful that it doesn't protrude over the loop that you're going to use to secure your jump ring. So I'll just leave that for a second. You're going to use your grip pliers. I use them in my right hand. The technique is to fold over one side of the pinch clip and squeeze it tightly and then squeeze over the second side. So it's quite a tricky process. So once the leather thonging is a little bit secured into the pinch clip you can start the process so using the grip pliers now I don't normally recommend using grip pliers for jewelry making but for this process it definitely makes it less frustrating so pinching one side in pinching it firmly and then turning it over and pinching the other side. Right, so that's one side secured and as you can see that still fits over the pendant so I can leave the pendant off until I secure the catches. Using the other side now, there's my pinch clip. I just put one small dot of super glue in there. When you're working with super glue, always important to have some gloves on. So putting the other side of the leather thonging into the pinch clip, just letting it set for a moment or two. Just holding it there. It's not quite set. Doesn't take very long to set. And this just gives it a little bit of extra security. You certainly don't want your beautiful pendant pulling out of the pinch clip and it becoming lost. Okay, so picking my pliers up and folding one side over. Okay, pinching one side down. right along the side of that pinch clip and then turning it over and working from the other side. It can slip, it's quite fiddly. 
if you're having a lot of trouble, move the pinch clip into the belly of the pliers where it's a little bit thicker. There we go. And nice firm pinch. So to be sure that it's very firm, just check both sides are pinched extremely firmly using the belly of the pliers. There you go. Right, so now that we have the two pinch clips on, it's important now that at this stage to thread that through and to make sure all of the catches are able to be accessed from the front of your, your chain or cord. At this stage, I could take my rubber gloves off because I no longer need those. Right, so using ordinary pliers for this, so you're going to need two pairs of pliers. Open the jump ring. I just use small jump rings for this. Make sure the opening is at the top. Use your pliers to open the jump ring just a little bit, enough to fit in the loop on the end of the pinch clip and let it hang down and the loop on your catch and that's my toggle part of my catch. So moving the jump ring backwards and forwards until it stops exactly in the middle, not overlapping, which is unsightly. And then on the other side, picking up your other jump ring, making sure the opening is at the top and just open that up. So I've just opened it a little bit and putting it through the pinch clip and through the circular part of my toggle catch using my pliers again just to open them to catch the other side of the jump ring, moving them backwards and forwards so it stops exactly in the middle. Right, so that's completed that process and the toggle will fit through the loop part and it will secure the pendant. So now you have a handmade pendant and a beautiful handmade catch which is all part of the design. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you back in the studio. Bye for now.